everyone talking about School by Rook. This is a limited edition scent. I believe it's limited to only 100 bottles. There are still some left on Lucky Scent. The concept is, as you may have guessed from the title, school. So the notes in this are cold air, trees and moss, concrete floors, sacred olibanum, which is frankincense, rubber, plimsolls, new books, coffee, pencil shavings, and graffitied desks. So I was pretty excited about this because one, I've tried some pretty good stuff from Rook. I have a review from the other day of Forest by Rook, which is really great for the concept it's going for. And two, I really like weird rubbery scents or weird scents and rubbery scents by themselves as well. I have to say though, this disappointed me. Ugh. It just, so it, when it opens, it's almost like, and this lasts for a while on me at least, a barnyard oud like accord maybe created from a combination of like the coffee pencil shavings and the rubbery stuff and the concrete whatever it is it's really unpleasant just like stinks basically to me like not even just like oh this isn't really my type of thing like i don't love it but just like outright that smells bad i won't hate on them too much for that because this whole point is like something creative and weird but that's true for a lot of things that i've really liked like Comme de Gasson, self-titled 2011, which has notes of like glue and, you know, packing tape and weird things like that. And I love that. That smells a lot more like school to me, actually, than this actually does. Yeah, to me, this just smells like a really, really woodsy scent and some concrete blacktop, maybe. So I could see that part of it, like the blacktop on a school playground or something. But I'm really not getting the inside aspect of the school like it was supposed to be going for. Yeah, I think that, I mean, I personally wouldn't recommend this. I will put a link where you can get a sample or a bottle in the description in case you want to check it out. I guess it might be worth sampling if you haven't tried that many weird scents yet and that money stuff with like rubbery notes, maybe you would like this better, but I do usually like rubbery notes and this just really doesn't do it for me. It costs 120 for a 30 mil, way overpriced because that's the equivalent of closer to $400 for a 100 mil. Mm-mm. No way. Uh, so, yeah, basically the only person that I really see loving this a lot, if it wasn't for the kitschy fun side of it or whatever, would be if you like like a coffee and cedar combination of just like dry woods with like a concrete sort of feel. And maybe some people do. So awesome if you do. I'm not a fan of it. But if you try it, uh, let me know what you think.